Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure, the channel, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from Channel Partners 2024 here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And joining me is Daniel Lonstein of Airspring. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Nice to be here. Of course. So Airspring is known for vast and versatile services. Can you tell us a little bit about your specialties and what you guys are known for? So you're correct. We have a pretty extensive product line from voice to security to mobility, but our focus and where most people uh, come to us and we start uh, with our building blocks is uh, network connectivity, both domestic and globally. So I'd say uh, you know, connectivity followed by SD-WAN and security would be the three things that we do the most of these days. Yeah. And I know you guys have a proprietary solution, Air Control. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. So we've been in business, uh, uh, Airspring, it's a family owned and operated business. Uh, we're uh, privately held. We have no outside investors. We're, we're debt free and profitable. We've been doing this 23 years. So it's very much, we like to say, a family powered business. Myself, yeah. my brothers run and operate and own the business. Wonderful. So it's kind of unusual in this industry, <laughs> particularly these days. Um, and we've been doing this a long time. Um, and so we've been building our proprietary software for at least the last 20 years. And now we've compiled it into a customer facing portal called Air Control, which is a single pane of glass ITSM software that tracks everything from the order submission, how it's going through to the carriers, uh, the equipment, circuits, um, IP address blocks, every piece of CPE that goes out. And then afterwards is used for monitoring the network health, bandwidth utilization, latency jitter, and then we, we have SD-WAN, all the uh, information and uh, analyze, um, analysis that you can do with SD-WAN as well. So it's a very, very powerful single pane, of, single pane of glass tool that gives our customers complete access into many of the things that we have seen uh, from the uh, service provider side, but now available to our customers as well. Single pane of glass, just streamlining, creating efficiency there, right? Exactly, and simplicity for our customers. Yeah, simplicity is key these days, right? Yeah, and again, it's a very powerful tool. It does a lot of different things. Not every customer is going to take advantage of all the different features, right. but that's okay. We make it available and they use whatever, whatever they find most valuable for themselves. Amazing. And your team has grown. There's been a ton of awards. Can you tell us a little bit about just that growth and what's driving those awards? Sure. So uh, our uh, channel chief, uh, John Young, uh, recently won a, a channel award, which we're very proud of. But uh, what hasn't been announced yet, we've been winning Stevie Awards for our customer service excellence over the past few years. And we just got told that we're going to be a winner again this year for another Stevie Award. And so we're not exactly sure which one, <laughs> but that's another. And, and more than anything, those are the ones that mean the most to us because yeah. those relate to our service and support for our customers. One of the things that I spoke about uh, last year, I think when we chatted, uh, and it's still core to our whole belief strategy is the difference in our industry between customer acquisition and customer success. And acquiring a customer is one thing, creating success with that customer from the beginning of the order submission process all the way through to deployment and delivery and then service and support. That's the key to long-term happy customers. And again, we've been doing this 23 years, we are here for the long term. We, we're not here to just sign up customers and you know right. put them in there. We're here for the long term. We want those customers to renew and we want partners to keep bringing us more business and be happy. Uh, one of the things to that effect that we do that I think we're one of the only companies that offer that is we offer our partners full spiff on renewal. So if one of our partners brings an account and let's say after three years their contract is up, they work with us to renew the customer, they will get the same full spiff on that renewal that they would have gotten if it was a brand new customer. And I don't really know anybody else that does that. And we're very proud of that. So you so guys are popular, right? <laughs> we're popular for that, but it's it's about that commitment to the customer success and the life and the full life cycle and the continuation of that versus, oh, let's just sign up someone and make a, I don't want to say quick buck, but make a right. quick buck, get something and then move on. That That's not our focus. So right. um, I think that's key. Well, we'll keep an eye out for that award. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you. And what can we expect from you guys looking ahead the rest of 2024? What's on the horizon? So we're continuing to invest very heavily in our global strategy. Um, I was chatting with some partners earlier today about this. You know, about three, four years ago, we brought in our own in-house team to source connectivity from 
global vendors in you know over 190 countries. So we have now, I think, over 100 direct contracts with vendors all over the world. Um, and we have won so many deals for US-based companies. They might have 50 locations in the US and only two or three abroad, maybe manufacturing, warehouse. But because we can support those international locations in a very efficient manner, we can get quotes back within three to five days. Uh, because of our relationships and the direct contracts, we're now winning more of those deals just because of those pieces we can do. So our global strategy is key to what we're continuing to uh, deploy this year. Um, and we think it's a strong differentiator for us. Also, our global SD-WAN, where we can deploy SD-WAN globally. We have um, truck rolls available throughout the world through subcontractors where we can put uh, hands-on to do deployments and installation. Um, next day uh, delivery of uh, replacement equipment, uh, if that's necessary. So there's a lot of things we're focused on. Oh, global currency support, all of these things. So our global is a big part of what we're continuing to build on for this year. And we've had great success. We think it's going to continue to drive a lot of success in these deals. Yeah, it sounds like you're supporting the full global ecosystem there from different parts. Well, we don't do everything globally, but certainly <laughs> in terms of connectivity, SD-WAN and security. Yeah, very yeah, much so. And leaning on partners and keeping those long-term partnerships. Exactly. Well, for those who aren't here and want to connect with you in the future, where can they go to learn more, to connect with you, reach out to you? Absolutely. So uh, on our website, uh, airspring.com, that's air with an E after the R. So uh, now that I live in Miami, I would say Aire Spring. So uh, airspring.com. Uh, and we have a, a full channel map so you can uh, connect any one of our channel managers for whatever region. All of our senior management is there as well. So easy to connect with us. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much to our viewers for tuning in here from Channel Partners 2024 in Las Vegas. Until next time, happy networking. Thank you.